Hey team, Julie Fawson from Total Fitness Clubs here today. Um, we today are going to bring you a water bottle workout. I did this workout with uh, some of my Zoom folks this past Saturday. So we're going to try it out. A little bit of instruction from the beginning because it's really quick. 30 seconds on, uh, 15 seconds to transition. So I'm going to show you all the exercises before we begin and we will have a little time to transition between them. Folks, remember to be cleared by your physician before you start any kind of exercise program. Okay, so let's get ready to go with the demo of the exercises, and then we'll head into the warm-up, and then I'm going to do at least one of the circuits with you. I would say three rounds of work or so, so let's check it out, okay? So our first exercise is going to be a plank with a tap. So... You know, there's a few different ways to do this. I mean, you can start in tall plank here if you'd like. Okay, so this is the most advanced. You want to keep your hips pretty square to the floor. But if you needed to modify a bit and bring yourself down to your knees, you can do that as well. So know that those are options for you, okay? So after that, we're going to come on up and we're going to take our water bottles, which should be full of water. Okay, and we're gonna do tricep kickbacks. So kicking it back, elbows are high. You wanna feel the squeeze through the tricep on the way back. Try to stabilize your shoulder. The only joint that's really moving here is your elbow joint. Our third exercise is our lunges. So weights by your side or water bottles by your side because you can use free weights for this as well. And we're going to alternate your lunges. Now remember, if you have a pretty light weight, your speed might be a little faster than if you had a heavy weight, like if you were holding a dumbbell, right? So lunges, knee, drops underneath the hip, driving through the front heel. Okay, so the next one gets a little funky. So careful with this one. And I cannot do the advanced movement, but I'm going to try to show you what it is. But I'm going to show you the modified version you take your water bottle and you squeeze it really nice and tight between your, your sneakers here. And we're gonna do a crunch with a pass. So what you're gonna do is squeeze here, crunch up, grab your water bottle, bring it back, bring the water bottle back to the sneaker and bring it back down again. You can also lengthen your legs out long and pass it here and here, but I don't have the room for that today. So I'm already hitting my foam rollers. Okay, so know that you can take your legs long if you need it, okay? So we're going to come on up and we're going to get ready for some cardio. So you're going to take your water bottle, place it in the center here, okay? So the advanced movement is here, okay? But if you're not at that level or you're getting a little tired, you can always take it here, right? Chest up, shoulders back, sitting back into the heels, okay? So after that, we're going to do double arm rows. So taking your water bottles or your weights, chest tall, give me a squeeze through the shoulder blades, keeping the elbows close, nice deep belly breaths. And after that, we're going to do a bicep curl with an overhead press here and here. Okay, so your, your water bottles or your weights should always be in your line of sight. Feel the squeeze through the bicep as you lift. Okay, after that, we're going to do a squat tap. So again, you're going to put that water bottle in the middle of the floor again, right? And you're going to squat, jump tap, right? So again, if that's not for you, squat tap. Take what you need, guys. Okay, so our next step, we're going to move into core again. And we're going to use that water bottle. So I'm going to have you take your water bottle and see if I can do this here. Get my legs nice and long. You're going to squeeze it between your legs. Here, hands underneath the tailbone for support in that diamond kind of figure. Squeeze that water bottle nice and tight, lengthen the legs, and lift and lower. Now, again. 
again, this is not for everybody. So if you need to take the knees bent, take the knees bent. And if that is still too much, take the water bottle out all together. Okay? So then come on up. And then we're going to take our water bottles, put them on each side of our mat here. Okay? And then we're going to do skaters. So skating here. Now, skating can be low like this or higher and faster. The biggest thing is that you want to try to touch the water bottle. You can lengthen your water bottles as far or as close as you'd like them to be. So take what you need here, guys, okay? All right, I'm going to set my water bottles up at the edge of my mat here for our plank tap. But we're going to warm it up first, right, because that's important. So I'm going to start our music. Remember, our intervals after our warm-up will be 30 seconds on, 15 seconds to transition, right? So it gives us a little time to find our way. And I'll coach you along the way. All right? So let's get started. I'll put some music on. Let's step it up with a big inhale up. Exhale down. Let's do it again. Exhale down, big inhale up. Let's reach up and over. Exhale down, big inhale up. Let's reach up and over with the other side. Exhale down, hands on the hip, right knee to right shoulder, or left knee to left shoulder. Take your center, other side. Team. Center, roll it back. Here. Opening up through the chest. Find your breath here. All right, team, let's get ready for change. Bring it forward. Opening up through the back, the shoulders. Let's go for four more. Four, three, two, and relax. Bring the legs in. Skip rope low. Keep it here if you need it. Otherwise, we're going up. Get ready for that cross jab. Here we go. Here. Warming up the body for what's to come. For four, three, two. Now skip rope. Go. Got it, guys. On those toes for four, three, two. March it out. Let's go for a swim. Back and shoulders. Don't forget to breathe. Back and shoulders, spine. Let's bring it back, guys. Chest. Shoulders, abs, get ready for change, squat down two, settle into the heels, hip knees and ankles, one more slow, singles, here we go, feel the push, drive strong, Let's get those good juices flowing, guys. Team, let's go. Eight more. Come on. Warming up those legs. Feel the push. Four, three, two. Down, two, up. Slow it down. Push through the heels. Couple more like this. Get rope low. Ready? We're going up. Four more. Great. Get ready for that cross jack again, guys. Here we go. Hit it. For four. Three. Two. Now skip rope, go. Team on your toes for four, three, two. March it up, let's go for a swim. Back and shoulders. Push, push, push. Should be a little better the second set. 
Right leg forward. Left leg back. Team down two. Singles go. Settle in and push. Come on. Knee drops underneath the hip. Keep the front knee soft. Get ready for change. Put the brakes on down too. Switch sides, guys. One and two. One and two. One and two. Singles go. Come on. Front heel takes the load. Feel the warming of the back thigh. Deep belly breaths. Eight more. Come on. You got it. Hold on. Four, three, two, and relax, you guys. Step up, big and heel up. And exhale down. Okay, team. I'm going to set up our intervals, okay? 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We're going to start off with our plank and our water bottle tap, right? So we're going to do 10 rounds, okay? I'm going to do to the first 10 rounds with you. I'm going to show you a short stretch after your workout. You can decide if you want to do this two or three more times. Just a demo for you, something to do if you don't have weights in the house, or if you have weights in the house and you're looking to kick it up a notch, you know? All right. So let's start up, get set up in your best plank position. We're getting ready for set one of ten. Plank position. Ready? And go. Tap and tap. Try to watch your hip shift. Don't forget to breathe. Maintain control. You got it. Ten seconds, guys. Awesome work. And relax it. Okay, come on up. Take your water bottles for those tricep kickbacks, right? Tuck your elbows in, it looks like this. Ready? Set, here we go. Now, my water bottles have water in it. However, if you have dumbbells, you might go a little slower, right? Slow down that pace if you have that heavier weight. Feel the push through the triceps. Almost. And relax it. Okay, guys, lunges. Just like what we did at the beginning of the warm up, right? Except we're going to alternate from side to side. Here, here. Right? Let's go. 30 seconds. Push to the heels. Drive strong. Deep breaths, right? From the side looks like this. Make sure that front knee stays before the toe. Chest up, shoulders back. Almost there, guys. Awesome job. Okay. So, place one bottle, water bottle up to the side, one to the center of your mat, right? We're going to do these guys, or these guys, right? Here we go. Now, team, remember, you jump as high or as low as you need to go. Keep the heart rate up. We're more than halfway. Make it big or make it low. Right? Especially if you get tired. And relax it. Okay, two water bottles. We're 
to do your double arm row, guys. Tip from your hip. And go. Okay, we're going to move into our ab movement here right after this, right? Squeezing that water bottle between your sneakers and passing it. Lift squeeze. From the side here, guys. Deep belly breaths. You got it. Team, take a seat. Passing the water bottle, right? Knees are bent or long. Don't have a lot of room here. Laying back. Ready? Set. Toss. Try not to get it on your nose like I almost just did. Come on. Squeeze, squeeze. Make sure you're using your abs. Maintain control. You might want to get your sneakers right in the center of that water bottle. I don't know if a weight, unless you're going to go pretty lightweight with this, would be recommended. Okay, guys, come on up. Two water bottles. Water bottles by your side. Bicep. Ready, go. Now remember, if you have those dumbbells, this movement might look a lot slower than me. Plus, you might not be able to hear the music very well, but I go to the beat of the music once I find it. Lift, lift. Push, push. You got it. Keep it strong. Okay. Okay, squat tap, right? So, here, alternating arms, right? With a jump, or just squat and tap, right? So take what you need. Ready, set, go. Make it big. Push through the heels. Remember, this is your option. So take it if you need it. But I like to jump too much. Come on, come on. Awesome job. Okay. Leg lift with your water bottle, guys. Fly back. Hands. Underneath the tailbone for support. Right? And we lift. If you can get your water bottle. Right? Lift and squeeze. Remember, you can lengthen your legs. Or you can keep them bent with me. So I don't have enough room here today. Make sure that if you need to lie back, lie back. Or if you need to drop the water bottle here, please do that. Come on up. Water bottle on each end for those skaters. Okay. Ready? Set. Go. Low impact. Right? I like mine long. You can keep your water bottles closer. Or bring it higher. Where's your target? Watch it each time. Feel the push. And relax it. Team, awesome work. Those are your 10 exercises for your water bottle workout. I would suggest take a minute break in between your set. Go back and do the 10 exercises again. Okay? Make sure you're stretching, 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 right? At the end of your workout. Holding each stretch at least 30 seconds, team. 
I hope you have fun with this workout. Try it with dumbbells or water bottles. Just be careful when you're lifting that water bottle overhead to catch it. Okay, thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you all very, very shortly. Have a great night.